Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read a column I wrote back in February 1988 called Russell's Snowsuit. It's a mother's duty to make sure her children are dressed warm when snow covers the countryside. Mittens and hats are only part of the cold weather paraphernalia in her charge, the major item of clothing being a snowsuit. I started last fall worrying what survived from the last season. Is there enough material left to be handed down? Have all the knees and seats been ripped to shreds? Last year, I didn't have to be concerned about snowsuits. We didn't have any snow. This year, we scraped together enough remnants to cover the kids for one more season. Great news when you consider the cost of children's clothing. Months had passed since winter took control of our weather and outerwear. Our children have slid, slipped, rolled, bounced, and been dragged through miles of snow and ice on our yard in Hayfield. You can imagine the state of their snow suits. Russell had started the season with two hand-me-down suits, a red one he kept at school in his locker for recess fun, a not-so-good black one that he left at home for play. Mom, the snowsuit I have at school has a tiny rip, he said one cold February day. I expected worn out knees and a torn sleeve. What he brought home was sheer disaster. The sleeves of Russell's snowsuit were attached, but only at the top of the shoulders. Both armpits were exposed. The waistband was split almost in two. The seat was worn thin and split open too. Then there were the knees or what used to be knees. My son had been out in public dressed worse than a ragamuffin. Russell, I thought you said it had a little hole. He shrugged. I should have remembered to an eight-year-old, holes are a status symbol. They make him one of the guys. Holes never embarrass or humiliate him, not like they do his mother. I would have trashed his red snowsuit right then and there, but there's too much winter left and his play suit was in about the same shape and our budget didn't allow for a new outfit, even if the stores had, hadn't already switched to their spring line of clothing. I started stitching the holes by hand. Thread and needle went in and out of the heavy material. My fingers ached after finishing the first sleeve. Two evenings of Olympic Games entertained me while I worked and I still had only half done, half done. The more I sewed, the more I thought about burning the ragged snowsuit. Russell couldn't wait another minute. He begged. I gave up gladly, really, and let him in his half-minute snowsuit go out to play. It still pains me to watch him cavorting about our backyard. Red material flapping, jeans exposed at the knees. If spring doesn't come soon, he, he's sure to end up sledding wearing little more than a red loincloth. Oh yes, I remember those days. Snow suits did not last long at our house. And uh, you know, Russell was the third child, so he got hand-me-downs and he didn't care as long as he could play outside. Right, Curry? I hope you have a great day and have good memories to share too. Until next time.